Steve Weagle. We're looking forward to that weekend forecast yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah, it looks, uh, it looks pretty good. I mean, for tailgating the game, it looks fantastic. Mm. Thankfully, it's not tomorrow because tomorrow it does get a little bumpy out there with showers and storms on the way. But tailgating for Sunday, not too bad at all. And the game, looking at low and mid-70s. We're looking at clouds and a northeast breeze. It should be, uh, of course, it's on right here on uh, NBC, 820 kickoff. And uh, you've probably heard the big snowfall to the north. That is uh, starting to work into western Kentucky and Tennessee storms on the warm side of this and some of that stormy weather headed our way for the weekend mainly Saturday afternoon maybe into the early evening hours and there's a little bit of rain on the radar right now so if you are heading out this evening I would uh, take the umbrella with you because we, you could get into one of these pop-up showers we have uh, some working into downtown West Palm now there's downtown West Palm the airport right there uh, so this one pulling in along the coastline a few more showers back around Wellington and Royal Palm and the acreage and Loxahatchee a little farther south little spotty shower that's 441 in Atlantic Avenue and Del Rey nothing on the Treasure Coast but the computer models do bring some of those showers in to the Treasure Coast later this evening here's a Vipercast model so there's uh, 1130 tonight it'll downpour around Stewart and that tracks all the way up through Vero by mm, about 1 in the morning 1 30 but the main area of rainfall is tomorrow and here's the timeline so there's 2 p.m. we have rainfall uh, western Palm Beach County into the Treasure Coast and starting to push into the coast of uh, Palm Beach County and then stormy weather expected during the afternoon. There is 530 still some rain and a few storms starting to push off the coastline. It tries to clear out after that but it doesn't do it. There'll still be some rainfall around for Saturday, Saturday night and even into Sunday morning. Uh, that front finally moves in I would say around sunrise on Sunday with the current timing but look at all the clouds and showers still behind this front as we get into the second half of the weekend. All right, boating conditions, small craft advisory. Unfortunately, with these fronts, it really stirs things up. Sees about five to seven. Sixties overnight, mostly cloudy. A couple of quick showers, that's about it. Tomorrow, get out early because we will see showers and storms. Won't be a lot of sunshine around 82. It'll be warm and a little humidity. Cools off and still a just sunny breaks the best on Sunday with a few showers starting to clear out and another front rolling in for the middle of next week.